Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Chain Entertainment and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. In this wonderful After Effects tutorial, today I'm going to show you how you can create gaming logo or intro inside of After Effects. So let's start and create an intro. Here is a logo of a gaming logo, just a PNG image which I got from internet. It's a transparent background having, so you need to have transparent or if you don't have then you can mask it out. Uh, okay, so first of all, Mm, select this layer and come here to layer then click here on auto trace okay after clicking this now here is options you can play around with these options check this apply to new layer and uh, now here you can see different channels if blue is selecting you can see here are different colors showing if alpha is selecting select it here then only outline mask will be created from this logo so I don't want to have many strokes on these text and everywhere I just want outline mask so I just selected alpha and ok now I have also selected this new layer so new layer will be created with a mask of this intro you can see this is a new layer so, ok let's uh, first invisible the below or original layer ok so this is new layer with mask now come here and search for an effect stroke then apply this effect to your this new layer which is auto traced created from this logo now come here and select all mask if you have different mask but I think this is just only one mask ok check this all mask uh, then come here to paint style and select it on transparent now you have a stroke created from this logo here is burst size so make sure increase this little I think it's good now okay now let's check yeah the stroke size is good as original one okay I'm invisible everything with this okay now let's add a color to this stroke so check this like this and choose a color I think this one is perfect for our logo so here is color right now here are now let animate the stroke so come here to beginning and uh, then check keyframe for start and end okay now increase this and here in the beginning 53 or 50 is good and the end on the beginning is uh, I think um, 50 is good or yeah when it 53 and 53 that's good or 50 50 end and start and make sure you check these keyframes now come here about uh, two seconds okay then we can adjust it later but first I'm doing two seconds two seconds then increase this so it will be hundred and that's 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 when it will be also this will be zero the end one will be zero and this one will be hundred now so it's, let's play how animation is created so we have like this now let's uh, add some speed to this because we have added slow so select this layer and press U then we have all keyframes right here this keyframe is just for masking so don't play with this only these keyframes for start and end so select the end keyframes and like let's draw drag around to the off or maybe for a little speed okay so let's play Cool. now we have stroke animation as outline of our logo I'm just work area keeping work area around uh, mm, three second or four that's good okay now we have this stroke animation done now another thing we have to play with now visible or logo so our logo is below this stroke okay now here 
make select this logo press T for opacity and check this and make it zero on beginning then go forward and when stroke gets complete then make it 100 now let's play what tough of animation is created all right cool right you can select this stroke layer let me invisible the below layer and here uh, between these times when stroke now is not completed yet let's play again with start and end now see what type of animation is again created because i added more keyframes to the end it start now yeah this is cool or i think the old one is good so i will do ctrl z two time let's see what says now that's one is good now so you can do and create animations okay now let's play again oh the work area is around here make it four seconds that's good another thing we need we can duplicate uh, this layer i duplicated this layer now press r to see rotation okay here is a rotation values now hold uh, uh, key uh, mouse on this stopwatch and hold alt and click here now we have explosion box here type wiggle and this value in braces so here um, hundred comma five that's right and trim this toward around one second this logo this layer only to be one second the upper one so trim it toward here now let's play so we have like this type of some glitch that's right wiggle on, on the first upper layer visible or own layer and uh, i think let's play i think we have to drag this opacity keyframes opacity will be start when this gets completed little here the stroke so the opacity will be start from here now let's play yeah let's drag this opacity keyframe of 100 more let's play that's right great another thing uh, now we have to add uh, glow effect on our logo so search for glow in this search effect searcher here and apply to your original layer or no First of all, we have to select these all layers by pressing by holding Ctrl plus A. Then we have to pre-compose all these layers. So Ctrl Shift C for pre-compose. Okay. Uh, move all attributes to yeah and name it, that's the word and okay. Now we have new composition of this. Now we can add glow effect on. So add glow effect on our this. Now here you can see glow is applied on our logo. Play with. So again select and B colors and same color which we used two time to the color B2. 
and uh, here same color okay now let's play with now so increase intensity here increase trash So play with these settings. I think it's too much bright. Now let's play again. What's happening? Now we have this type of glow and animation of stroke. Another thing we need to have um, apply some wiggle and more effects which are needed. So for that, first of all we need to add another uh, layer video layer which is blast of shockwave so here i have video for that here is a shockwave video bring it here imported already this is from video copilot shockwave this is a pack you can download or you can search for it shockwave you can download it from and search it in YouTube or Google. I will make it add it to screen. Okay. When I will click on edit to screen, this will be transparent now the logo layer. Now here search for an effect tint. On this effect, I will apply this effect to my shark wheel there now here is map white too so we want just only the white colors of this shark wheel to change to this bluish color to the blue color okay now let's play the length of video of this shark wave is uh, slow and not matching with our logo for that i have to increase i have to stretch this time so here is uh, 100 i will make it 25 this will make it shorter and fast okay so when our logo starts completing com when our, our logo is complete and gets glow the shark wheel will be start here so drag it here and it will be when it will go toward this blots blast completes then it will be slow so for that trim it again trim it by sp split this layer sorry split it and the second right side layer will be again stretch and will have original speed now or oh, 80 okay and now let's play I think uh, speed is 100 is good oops it gets more 
so I will make it to around uh, 82 or 85 that's right now let's play what's happening okay now pre-compose these all layers Control A to select all and Control Shift C to pre-compose now. Okay. Now we have to split this layer when blast start here. So split it here and when blast is complete no here. Here now we have three layers so this layer select the middle layer which is short and blast have press P and here is position keyframe so hold, hold mouse here on this keyframe and press uh, hold alt and click here now we have experience box will be open here so type wiggle Type wiggle mm, hundred hundred comma hundred comma hundred. Now let's play. What type of? Yeah, that's right. Hundred hundred. And on the start, also add some wiggle effect. So for the first layer to P. And do same over here and alt click here wiggle mm, six comma four so on start it will have little shakes and also here P and here will be also 6 7 I think that's right now let's play what type of animation is okay now select these apply motion blur toggle switch it here and apply motion blurs to these layer for that check this and also check here motion blur now let's see so we have like this type of blast and okay another thing here here we have to make it this this first layer is 3d okay then we have to press R for rotation properties then then we have to check these all then we have to come here to the beginning and uh, on beginning we have to the Y rotation will be like this minus 70 and the X rotation will be minus 40 or 50 58 now let's see this have some rotation to and the start maybe because I make it it is 3 that's great as well now another thing we have we can add also create new solid here uh, all right okay trim it here only to the third layer when the third layer starts so trim it here now search here in effects for CC snowfall 
very easy snowfall and you can also add snow or particles look like effect the increase size of snow here you can see and toggle switch here and edit to screen to add on transparent okay now you can choose the color of snow so I will choose it as the same color as the energy and I will increase more size okay this is the variations and this is speed wind speed of snow and more settings is scene depth how much depth and you can play around with so here is spread and more things available here you can do it here is wind how wind is on snow but okay now let's play so when blast snowfalls also start yeah or the particles mm. cool so I hope you guys learn this you can play around these settings yourself and make it more perfectly so this is logo reveal you can use it for your games this is gaming logo you can use it for your youtube channel for gaming nowadays pubg channels and because guys plays pubg mobile so you can use this for your channel and for your gaming logo okay like this video share it with your friends subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time bye